Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So the topic for today's video is going to be vertical librette piercings and it's going to be the pros and cons of the piercing. So if you're unclear what a vertical librette piercing is, it is this thing here. So it's a bar that goes through the middle of the lip and comes out of the bottom. So as you can see, it just, the needle when it's pierced goes through the top of the lip at the bottom and then you have a curved barbell inside with a gem or you can have a ball, but I've got a gem on top and a gem on bottom. So I thought I'd make a video about the pros and the cons of having this piercing. So without further ado, let's sparkle on into the video. So as I always like to, we're gonna start off with the pros first. So my first pro is that it looks good. When I first saw this lip piercing, or vertical librette piercing. Some people call it vertical librette, but I personally like to call it vertical librette. I think you can call it both. But when I first saw this piercing, it was on a an Instagram model and I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, that piercing is so stunning. I mean, with, as you can see, with like sort of bright colored lipstick, having this gem in the middle of your lip just looks amazing. I have had so many compliments about this piercing. It's absolutely unbelievable. So many people have been like, oh my God, I love your piercing. And they're like, does it hurt and all that? And I'm like, no, it's fine. And they're like, it looks so nice. The, I, that's, I would say that's the most complimentary piercing that I have ever had. So yeah, that's the first pro. It looks good. It looks fantastic. I love it so much. It's, I think, I, I obviously love my nose stud, but I think that that's my most favorite piercing. So um, number two on pros is that it wasn't painful. So um, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I pierced it myself and I've done it. I've had it coming up a year now. It wasn't painful at all. It, the needle just literally slid through and I just put the little barbell through the top of the needle, pushed it through and it fell out and I just tightened the little balls up. It, it didn't hurt at all. There was a tiny bit of blood, but you could have more blood when you cut your finger. There wasn't much blood at all. And that's what I really, because I thought, because it's in your lip, because like when you pick your lip a bit, it bleeds quite a lot. And you're like, oh my God, that amount of blood has come out of my lip. But yeah, so I thought it was going to bleed loads, but it actually didn't, which I'm thankful for. So um, number four on pros is it will not damage teeth. So there's obviously the Ashley piercing where it's pierced through the lip. So it comes through it's about here and it goes through the back and you have the back so just like a normal lip piercing you have the back and then obviously that's going to rub on your teeth when you talk when you sleep when you eat and everything and it does wear the enamel away well with this there's there's no damage because it doesn't rub on anything the only sort of damage I can think of is that you're gonna have, if you didn't want it anymore you're gonna have a hole in your lip but that's like any piercing you're gonna have a hole so yeah so there's no damage that that will cause me on my teeth or anything which is fantastic so number four on pros is it heals easy i think within two weeks the swelling had gone it was literally i mean when i had my normal lip piercing years ago here that took three to four weeks to stop swelling I th to be fair i think it may have been a week and a half it just it didn't take long to heal at all um, it would sort of swell right up in the mornings and then it would go down after you've been awake for an hour. But yeah, there wasn't, I wouldn't say that it, it didn't take long to heal at all. And that's one thing that I like about a piercing. I know probably like when you talk, like they say saliva heals things. So that's why tongue piercings only take sort of sometimes a few days to heal. I mean, I still have not, as I said, I've nearly had this pierced a year and I still have not left the bar out for like a long time. I had a hospital appointment and I took the bar out and I think the longest it was out for was for about an hour. But so personally, they say for a piercing to fully heal, it's about a year. So probably if I wanted to take it out and leave it out, I could now. But generally, I don't want to do that. I want it in all the time. So yeah, the only time that I take it out is to clean the bar. I clean it sort of every, I go around it with, cleaning solution every single day but that's just me i'm a clean freak but i take the bar out sort of once a week and just put it in cleaning solution and then pop it back in again it's so easy to do it just literally unscrews take the bar out put it in the cleaning solution and then put it back in so yeah so now we're going to move on to the cons 
I hate being negative, but we're going to go on to them. So um, number one con is it you can get food stuck in it. So when was it? Not last week, week before I had um, red lip gloss on. This is not food, obviously, but I had red lip gloss on. And towards the end of the day, it had seeped into the hole underneath the bar and it had act and it sounds disgusting but it had actually started to drip through the bottom of the hole the bottom of the piercing and obviously I was at work and I was like oh my god oh my god so I quickly cleaned it up with a little cotton pad that I had in my bag cleaned it up so you couldn't see it but yeah I had to give it a proper scrub afterwards and obviously when you're sort of having food and drink food does get stuck to it like if you're eating like a fruit or anything and obviously when you're having a drink it does get stuck to it too, too, as well, so I can't speak today. So yeah, so you just have to sort of keep cleaning it to make sure that there's no food stuck that's going to sort of rot and do nasty things to the piercing because that is absolutely not what we want. So um, another con is kissing. Obviously, it's on the centre of your lip when you're kissing your partner. It does get in the way. I remember the first time that I kissed Steve with it, he was like, oh my God, he's like, that feels so weird. But now a year on, he's just used to it now. At first, he absolutely hated it. He hated it so much. He was like, take that horrible thing out of your lip. And then, it was a couple of weeks ago, actually, I said to him, I said, you like my lip piercing now, don't you? And he went, no. And I was like, you're lying, and you? He's like, it's all right. And I know when he's lying, so it, it has really grown on him. And I know my mum said it at first. She was like, oh my God, she's like, I can't stop looking at that lip piercing. But now she's like, oh my, it's so lovely. She's like, if I was your age, I would have definitely had it. So, um, yeah, so kissing, obviously, it's going to get in the way. So you just have to sort of work around it all. If you want to have a little snog, take it out. Um, number three on cons is you can't hide it. I thought I was going to have this problem with work, but thankfully they've been fine. They've said just to put lipstick over the top and a bit of makeup on the bottom. So it's not like when I go to work, you can't see the gem like you can see now. Um, with an Ashley piercing, when it goes all the way through, although we've got that it can damage teeth, it's... You, there's sort of no way really to hide this because, as I say, with an Ashley piercing, you can just leave the back bar in and have the little bit poking out. So that's what I used to do for my lip piercings to go to school, just take the ball off the ends. But with this, obviously, you can't. The only thing you could probably do is take the bottom ball off, but then it has fallen out. Luckily, my manager was understanding and she was like, no, she's like, as long as you cover it over with makeup and lipstick, that's absolutely fine. Um, I yet haven't found a way of hiding it. I know some people have sort of um, like got a plastic bar, cut the top off, cut the bottom off and just had a tiny bit inside the skin. Personally, I wouldn't do that because when a piercing is healing, if the top bit closes over and the bottom bit, you've then got to struggle to get that out and it could be a trip down to A&E to get that out. So that's one big con, you can't hide this piercing. You have to find an employer that will allow it. But obviously when it's healed, and I'd say after a year, you should be able to leave it out, go to work, do your sort of nine whatever hours at work and then come back and just put it in. So that's a good thing with that. Um, and obviously the last con is swelling. So as I said, swelling didn't last long for me. I know some other people have said different, so it could last a lot longer. Obviously, you've got to go about this is on your face. It's not like a belly bar or something that's hidden. You've got to go around with big lips. I have lip filler big lips don't bother me so it's something that so people are going to see the swelling basically and if you're trying to hide it from your employer there's sort of no can do so yeah I absolutely love my vertical librette piercing it's one of my best piercings and I just think it looks so stunning it literally it just jazzes up your face and people when I said I was going to get it people were like but you have a nose piercing you have a tongue piercing and I'm like so what you know what I mean like you can have you can have more than one piercing in your face but yeah let me know what you think in the comment section below this video if you like the vertical librette slash librette piercing are you thinking about getting it and want me to answer any questions just pop them below and i'll try my best to answer it of course i do not condone you doing it yourself as i said previously in another video i had done piercing training um a few years ago to well so i was going to do it as a job but then i decided not to so yeah so i don't advise that you do piercings yourself but yeah so let me know if you have any questions and i hope that you're all well and 
please don't forget if you're not already subscribed to my channel to subscribe and if i'm feeling lucky please give this video a thumbs up all my social media networks are down in the description so maybe give me a follow on facebook twitter and instagram and i'm going to see you right back in the next video stay well see you later bye bye